It's Nisha here and welcome to today's video. Firstly, I have to say thank y'all so much for all of the birthday love y'all showed me. I really do appreciate it. Y'all are the sweetest. Y'all just treat me like a best friend and I love that because y'all are all my friends in my head. Thank y'all again. I had a great birthday. I'm part of the 30s club. Whoop, whoop. Because I am a part of the 30s club and not really just because I'm part of the 30s club, but just because I like to treat myself for my birthday. I did go to Sephora and Ulta and buy quite a lot of things. I was just gonna go in and get a few things that I needed for my trip going out of town. And then all these brands decided that they just wanted to drop new stuff. I got on YouTube, started watching reviews, and I was like, okay, I need that. I like that, I want that. So I went into Sephora and Ulta and basically lost my damn mind. That's really what happened. And I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I bought. I also have some ColourPop stuff as well because they have like a sale. ColourPop is always having a sale, honestly. But they had a sale and I wanted to re-up on some of my favorites and then try a few new things. So I'm gonna share all the stuff that I picked up for my birthday. I didn't pick this up all at once. This is just like a cumulative haul from the past like month and a half. We're gonna get into it. I'll have everything listed down below in the description box. I bought a lot of lip products, like a lot, and I need another lipstick, like I need a hole in my head. But I realized I did kind of need to re-up on a few lip products because they were just old. That kind of went into me buying a whole bunch of lip products. But I just spiraled out of control. I really did. Anyways, before we get into this haul, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week. So if you're subscribed, you don't hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. So let's just go ahead and hop into this haul. We're going to go ahead and start off with Sephora because I think I bought most of my products from Sephora. I did get some complexion items, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those things out of the way first. This is the Tower 28 Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Mineral Tinted Sunscreen. So yes, y'all, you heard me correctly. This is a tinted sunscreen. It is not a tinted moisturizer. This is a mineral sunscreen that has some tint to it. If you are into sunscreen, which we all need to be, but I'm gonna be transparent. I am just now really getting into using sunscreen all of the time. I know we have melanin and that does help protect us to some extent from the sun, but it's not the end all be all. You can't just rely on your melanin in order to protect you from the sun. I can't tell you exactly the difference between chemical and mineral sunscreens, but I just know mineral sunscreens are better for you, but mineral sunscreens always leave that just ugly cast no matter what they say they always say oh we're cast free and they just leave this ugly cast so i decided to go ahead and pick this up i got this in the color number 60 third street i thought this was going to be a little bit too dark for me but it's actually my perfect shade and i'm sure it's going to adjust as well as i get darker because it's like a tinge a little bit dark but it still works for my skin i actually did a review on this because i wanted to try this out before I went on vacation. The video is gonna go up after this. I'm trying to get the order in my mind correct. That review is gonna go up after this, so definitely stay tuned for that video and I'll give you all the details, how it wears, how it looks, if it makes my face oily, if it makes it dry, all that good stuff, I'll let you know in that video. But I think this is just a great concept because like I said, mineral sunscreen, it just be doing us wrong. The next foundation, which I don't need a foundation, but I've been enjoying NAR so much, they dropped a new foundation. I kept seeing reviews, so I had to pick it up. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, and I got the color Deep 2 New Caledonia. This is what the foundation looks like. It comes with a nice pump. The key claim for this foundation is that it's supposed to have skincare benefits. So a lot of good for you skincare ingredients are in this foundation. This is also supposed to be medium coverage, like medium to full. It's actually the foundation that I'm wearing now. I'm I'm really liking this color. It was so hard to find a color match for me. The color is a little bit off compared to the soft matte foundation and the um, 
natural radiant lightwear foundation i forget exactly what it's called but those are the other two nars foundations that i have the shading doesn't exactly translate over to this so mostly i am marquise i would say during like the winter time marquise is my color and then in the summertime, New Caledonia is my color. Marquise was way too red. And then I tried to go down to Macau because I know a lot of people wear Macau, but Macau, the undertone is also just off for me. It's just a little bit too yellow. It has like some olive in it. And yes, I am yellow undertone, but not olive. And I just, it wasn't working for me. And I was, it was also a tad too light. So then I was like, okay, let me try New Caledonia. I thought it would just be a little bit too dark, but I really do like the undertone. But it actually, wow, I put myself in that. But it's actually not too dark, especially when you put your concealers on top. And plus, I'm about to be darker anyways from going on vacation. So I'm typically a Marquise like year round until I get a tan and then I'm um, New Caledonia. So next up is kind of a little bougie <laughs> product. I wanted to treat myself, you know, it's my 30th birthday. So I picked up the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder, no powder. So one of my favorite beauty YouTubers is Andrea Renee. I love her channel and I swear by all of her recommendations. And we are very similar in color as far as like shades of foundations and things like that. She might be like a tad lighter than me, but as far as her being like a combination oily girl like myself, I trust her recommendations. And so she raves about this Dior backstage powder, powder no powder. And I got this in the color six not or six in neutral, but even though it's neutral and I said I have yellow undertones, it still works for me. It does look a little bit darker than me in the pan, but it actually works perfectly. It's a very light, like skin-like coverage where it just gives you this nice like glow on your face and just helps even your complexion, but it's not like a powder foundation. I really do like this thus far. I've only used it once, but it does give me that nice like glow to my face without making me look more oily than, than I am. I did feature this in my video with the um, Tower 28 tinted sunscreen, so they actually worked really well together. The rest of the stuff are lip products. So the first one I'm gonna go ahead and get out the way it is the lipstick that I'm wearing. It is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick, and this is in the color First Class. Like I said, this is the color that I have on my lips. And Huda Beauty basically reformulated their liquid lipstick, so they pretty much trashed a lot of their previous colors. They have a few colors that they kept, but for the most part, it's all new colors. I'm a little bit disappointed at the colors that have come out thus far because there's not a lot of colors for darker skin. I feel like there's a lot of those powdery, like donut powder looking nudes. I feel like I shouldn't have to like use a bunch of lip liner and have to tweak and do all this extra stuff in order to make a lip product work for me. But if I have to do all this extra stuff, then I just don't want to use that color. I just think the color is too light for me in my opinion. This color and maybe like two more colors were the only ones that I thought worked well on my skin tone and the rest just looked too light so and I feel like their previous collection of these liquid lipsticks had a lot more colors that were geared towards darker skin but for whatever reason this new collection it's not it really wasn't for us and that's a shame like why are we going backwards okay i have another bougie purchase and this also is from dior this is their rouge dior forever liquid lipstick i was just in sephora not even thinking about this and then once I went into the Dior section to get that powder that I showed y'all, I saw their liquid lipsticks and I was intrigued. And I was like, oh, okay, this color is kind of cute. This is number 200 Forever Dream. And this is just like that peachy orangey nude that I love. This is the color that I was wearing in my empties video that y'all just saw. And I can get away with this alone, but I just like how it looks with a little bit of brown lip liner on the outside. But I really do like this. This is expensive. This is like $38 for this little itty bitty liquid lipstick but like I said I wanted to treat myself all right so we all know that Fenty <laughs> dropped their new what is this 
Let me let me get them all out first because I definitely bought quite a few of their colors. So Fenty came out with their Fenty Icon lipsticks. I had to get them because I just love anything Fenty. But it's like a reusable case. This is the case that you have to buy separately for $12 dollars and then all the lipstick refills are twenty dollars i was like do i buy do i need to buy a case for each of my lipsticks then i was like no that's too much money so i just ended up buying one case and so what you do is you just twist it up and then this always is a struggle because i feel like my hands are always greasy <laughs> but then you pull out the lipstick the color that i have in here is called 08 major magnet or magnate and this is like a nice brownie nude a very true nude like almost blends into my skin kind of nude so I do need to wear like a little bit of a darker brown lip liner just to help it not look so nude I actually was about to put it on with this makeup look but because my makeup look is literally just like my base and I don't have any eyeshadow on and then I have on this like tan nudie top it just was doing a little bit too much for me in the nude department but it's still a beautiful color so this is basically what the little bullet looks like before you put it in the reusable case so you just <laughs> take the top off and this one is she's a ceo so this one is also in the brown family i'm addicted to brown lipsticks but this one is definitely darker than the major magnate what color what number is this this is number this is number nine she's a ceo so this one is definitely darker than a major magnet or magnate but it's not as dark as some of the brown lipsticks that we're used to. It's just right there in the middle, but it's just, it's so beautiful. I can use this without a lip liner and I'm fine because it gives me enough contrast between my lips and my skin. So definitely had to pick up the browns and then don't lose the case, y'all. The next color I have is number 02. She's a grill master. And this one is kind of like a rusty orange red. Right up my alley. I love me a good rusty orange red. So I haven't tried this on. So you can see that it is nice and shiny and hasn't been messed with. Cannot wait to wear this. Especially for summer, fall. I love to rock me a nice rusty brown brown orange ready color like it's just it's just my go-to and it looks so good on our skin as well so in addition to Huda Beauty and Fenty Anastasia Beverly Hills dropped some new like bullet lipsticks as well and I love Anastasia Beverly Hills's lip products they are just some of my favorite i love their liquid lipsticks their regular bullet lipsticks lip glosses like i just love them so i had to go ahead and pick up a few of their new ones again i was a little bit disappointed in this collection because it's like um satin finishes and mattes I think there's like six mattes and then a bunch of satin finishes. The mattes are beautiful, but those satin ones, they're all light. They really don't have many colors that are for us Melanated Beauties, and I just don't understand. Like again, it is 2022, and their other collections, like their lip glosses, their liquid lipsticks, the other bullet lipsticks that they have, they have great selections for women of color or men of color, but it's just like, what are you doing? Like, I'm just... As y'all can tell, I'm very annoyed. But anyways, don't even bother with <laughs> the satin lipsticks. Just get you the matte ones. I bought four of the matte ones. One I bought at Sephora. The other ones I bought at Ulta. But I'm just going to share all of them with you because might as well, right? So the first color I picked up is Toffee. And this is almost similar to that Major Magnet from Fenty Beauty. But it's got... I don't know a little bit more I don't know exactly it's just different in my opinion y'all are gonna be like girl all of those colors are the same but it's different I've already worn this did I wear this in a video with you all or did I wear this on Instagram I don't know that I may not have worn this on camera yet 
but I have worn this. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this color. It's a perfect nice nude. And then after I picked up that one, I had to go ahead and pick up a bunch of other colors. I really needed a new red in my collection. I realized that I had just been depending on my MAC Ruby Roo. And I also picked up the limited edition Riri Roo when Riri came out with her collection with MAC way, way back in the day. And I still had those colors and they're expired. I love them both. I just need to let them go. So I went ahead and picked up Royal Red from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. By the way, I absolutely love this like rose gold packaging. It's so pretty. And this red, y'all, it just looks so good against my skin. I just, I can actually get away with this without a lip liner, but I also like to add just a little bit of brown lip liner around the edges. This is Sugar Plum. And this is kind of similar to Toffee, but this has a more pinky it's more a pinky nude. We have Rum Punch, which they have a Rum Punch in their other like bullet lipsticks that doesn't look like this at all. So the colors don't translate between the two lipstick collections. This is more of like a purple mauve color in my opinion, whereas the other one is like a more of like a fruit punch type of color that I love to wear in the summer. But still, this color is beautiful and it just looks gorgeous. And if you think I am done with lip products, you're sadly mistaken. I picked up this Bite Beauty Power Move Soft Matte Lipstick in the color Ginger Malt. This again is another beautiful nude. I have way too many nudes, y'all, but I just can't help it. This is what the color looks like. This is also another pinky mauve nude that looks great on dark skin tones. And it is soft matte, so all of these colors, I think, are mattes, like soft mattes, except for maybe the Fenty ones. I think the Fenty ones are more of kind of like a satiny type of finish. But all the other ones are matte, but they're soft matte. They're not really drying. They're very comfortable on the lips. Then I picked up my first Charlotte Tilbury product ever, and I picked up their lipstick. And this has this beautiful, like, rose gold packaging as well. And I got this shade Super Fabulous. This is another nude. This nude is more on the brownie side with, like, a little hint of pink. I was encouraged or influenced to buy this from a... YouTuber that I recently started following and watching, and her name is Tatiana Anise. I know her name is Tatiana, I forget what her middle name or last name is for her YouTube handle, and she hauled this and swatched it, and I was like, I gotta have that, so went and picked this up. And then another <laughs> purchase that was influenced by her is this a makeup by Mario, what is it called? Moisture Glow Pumping Lip Serum. So this is a lip, a lip balm and I think it went viral on TikTok. But y'all, I'm not on TikTok. I heard that TikTok be sharing yo like personal information. That's a security breach in my opinion. So I just deleted my TikTok. I had it for all of like a hot second anyways. But this is what it looks like. I don't want to twist it up. This is in the color Mocha Glow. And as you can see, this is the color. The reason why I am not twisting this up and showing you all is because when you twist up, you can't twist it down. And so I don't want to mess it up. But I was definitely influenced by Tatiana to buy this. This is the last two lip products from Sephora. I still have some more lip products. These are actually from the Sephora collection. I got this Sephora lip stain for free. So a new Sephora opened up literally down the street from my house, which I'm so thankful because the closest one to me wasn't super far. It was like a 25 minute um, drive to the Mall of Georgia. If y'all are familiar with the Metro Atlanta, like the Gwinnett area of Georgia, it was all the way at the Mall of Georgia. And so this one is literally like a nine minute drive away from me. And they were doing like different little, sorry y'all. They were doing like different little raffles and things going on. My friend got $20 off of her purchase and I just got a free um, Sephora collection lip product. But I'm not mad because this is actually one of my favorite colors. This is number 41. I was in the Sephora lip collection and I saw these 
little lipsticks and I had never really seen them before. I swatched this color and I thought it was beautiful. This is Sephora's Lip Last Matte Lipstick and I got it in the color 08 Spice. This is one of those rusty brown orange colors that I love so much. So I haven't swatched the Fenty one, the um, Girl Master, but I would assume that they're similar just from looking at them in the tube. So let's get into ColourPop really quickly because I only bought like four items from them. First, I picked up their lippy pencils. I love their lip liners. They're nice and creamy. They're not drying. They literally have so many colors that you can choose from. I, of course, picked up two brown lip liners. So first, we have BFF3, which is my favorite. And then I also picked up BFF4, which is a little bit darker than BFF3. And this is actually my first time trying this one. So I don't know if you can see them on my hand, but the one on the top is BFF3. It's a nice brown nude. It's basically my skin color almost. And then we have BFF4, which is a nice chocolatey brown. Then I picked up two of their Fresh Kiss lip lacquers. I got the colors Cabaret and then also Cherry Liqueur. This is Cabaret and this is Cherry Liqueur. Lastly, we have some Ulta stuff. Some of this stuff I did get for free with my points. Y'all, I had a lot of Ulta points built up, so I was able to cash out $125 worth of points and got some really good goodies. But let's just go ahead and get into the stuff that I actually did pay for. So first, I did go ahead and get a, and y'all can't see it, it's super washed out. There you go, I got a duo um, eyelash glue. Nothing fancy, I just needed a new one. This one is the white clear, so it dries invisible. I had tried to put on eyelashes for my birthday photo shoot and the glue that I had, it was like yellow and it definitely was supposed to be this one where it's like white and so I was like, okay, this is old because I don't really put on false lashes like that. So the last time I bought glue was probably years and years ago. So I was like, let me just go ahead and get me a new one. That way next time I decide I want to put on falsies, I actually have some glue that's not questionable. Next, I picked up something that a lot of people have been raving about and this is the Tint Adult Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. And I got the color 460 Suede W. This is what she looks like. It's like a couple of shades lighter than my actual foundation shade. I wanted to go a tad bit lighter, but they didn't have a test for the lighter color and I was a little scared I'm always afraid that my under eye is gonna be too bright but then I noticed that the concealers that I do tend to gravitate towards don't really give me that like as much of a brightening effect as I was as I would like so the next color below I think is 435 bisque I might go to Sephora and try their tester out and see how I feel about it or maybe go to another Ulta and try their tester out if they have it. This is actually the concealer that I have on under my eyes today and it did, it still does give me a brightening effect because it is a few shades lighter than my foundation. But I don't know, I just wanna experiment and just see if I can get away with a little bit of a lighter concealer. I don't know, we'll see is more on the like full coverage so if you have some dark circles or any other imperfections that you're trying to hide I think that will do a really good job I picked up and this is because of the freaking commercials here on YouTube they've been advertising this NYX or NYX professional makeup thick it stick it thickening brow mascara and I thought that this would be good to pick up for the days where I just want to do something really quick with my eyebrows. I don't do too much with my eyebrows, but sometimes I like to just fill them in a little bit. This is supposed to have little fibers in it as well, so not only does it deposit color, but it also deposits fibers to actually thicken your eyebrows. I got this in the color black, which the packaging makes it seem like it's jet black, but it's not. It's more of like a browning black gray black if that makes sense that color doesn't sound right but basically it's like the perfect color for my eyebrows and doesn't make me look like I drew on some eyebrows I picked up two NYX lip glosses since we're on the topic of NYX and this is what they look like so these are two of their newer shades they're not like new new they came out sometime last year probably like early last year so I first have let's see we have brown drip which I actually already have this and love this 
but I don't know where it's at so I went ahead and repurchased it and then this is a newer color that I'm trying this is lava cake and it's like this nice deep chocolatey brown so this is like a great nude with a tinge of brown but it's like it's just very nude on my lips but the perfect nude and then this is like a nice chocolate brown then I have a few body care items this is the tree hut shea sugar scrub and watermelon this is my absolute favorite I've used so many of these things so this is just a repurchase for me this one is so hard to get so once I found it in store I went ahead and picked it up it smells so good oh it smells so stinking good okay so now for my freebies that I got from Ulta so if you're not familiar with Ulta or maybe you didn't know this they actually sell Mac products and I went ahead and got a re-up of one of my favorite blushes because I've had that blush for probably five years or more and I know that it's probably bad and it's not sanitary to keep using it, although I kept using it. So I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and repurchase. So this is just their normal like MAC blush. This is in the color Raisin. My favorite color goes with everything. It looks so good on us melanated people another repurchase because i feel like the current one that i have is old i've also had it for years and years and this is the mac retro matte liquid lip color and i got this in the color dance with me this is like the perfect blue tone red it's a little bit deeper than your normal red but it's not like burgundy and it makes your teeth look super white as well so like I said, I already had this in my collection and had it for forever and figured I needed to just go ahead and pick up another one. And then y'all would have seen this in my haul that I did around like the holidays when Ulta was doing their like 20% off and Sephora was doing their VIP sale as well. I picked this up and I already went through it. I went ahead and picked up another one and this is the keys soul care sacred body oil this is from alicia keys skincare brand so she has like skincare and body care items i haven't tried many of her other products actually this is the only product that i've tried from them but i absolutely love this when i hop out of the shower and i dry off but i'm still a little bit damp i haven't fully dried off I love to add this on before I put on my lotion and my body is super moisturized. A little bit goes a long way with this oil, although I do tend to use it fast because I use it every day. I need to chill out and maybe use it like on special occasions or in the winter when I'm dry and maybe like hold off on it in the summer. I don't know, but I love this. It is so good. So y'all, if y'all are into body oils and stuff like that, Y'all need to check this one out. I picked up another NARS foundation as if I need another foundation. This is the, the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, which I already have in the color New Caledonia, which that one was working great for me when I first picked it up a couple of months ago, but that's because I had just gotten back from the DR and your girl was nice and chocolate. I had a little bit of a tan, but now that I am going back to like my winter color, I wanted to go ahead and pick up another shade of this because the new Caledonia is getting a little bit too dark for me and so I picked this shade up in Marquis so that way I have this foundation in my winter color and my summer color because I really do love this foundation it is amazing NARS has really good foundations and I don't know why it took me such a long time to try them out but now I'm in love and I just keep buying their foundations the last product I know for those of you who follow me for hair content you're going to really like this and this will probably be your your favorite purchase of mine but this is the inner sense i create hold gel first heard about this from isha talor here on youtube she had used this a while ago for a wash and go but i think she paired this with something else i can't remember was it a mousse or was it another gel i don't know she paired this with something else and then also Deidre, is her name Deidre Forever? I'd be forgetting people's like Instagram handles, but Deidre, I'll go ahead and link everyone that I've mentioned in this video's um, YouTube channels and Instagram pages down below so you can check them out. 
But Deidre, I know her name is Deidre, she uses this. She has type 4 hair, just like mine. Her hair is beautiful. Not just like mine, but you know, her hair texture is very similar to mine. Her hair is beautiful and she uses this for her wash and goes and her wash and goes come out bomb. And this is more of like a botanical gel. So this isn't like your wet line. This isn't like your style factor. This has really good for you ingredients. And so I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and pick this up since I can get it for free. I'm probably not going to try this out until spring and summer when I am doing wash and goes, but definitely stay tuned for that. I'll probably start doing wash and goes in April. So we just got a couple more months until we get into wash and go season. I'm super excited to try this and to see what kind of hold I get because it says it's a styling gel for hold and shine. So we gonna see. They have some other products as well that I want to get my hands on, but you know, I'm trying to be good and use up my stash. I figured let me start with the gel and as I clear things from my stash I may pick up some more items from them like their hair baths which I think are like their I don't know if they're moisturizing shampoos or if they're co-washes but they're supposed to be non-stripping cleansing products. Um, I think one of y'all mentioned that they have a really good like clay mask type of thing. So once I heard y'all say that, I went and looked and that looks intriguing as well. So I will probably be picking up some more um, Innersense products you know, later on. All right, y'all, so that is it for my haul, my birthday haul. It is a lot of stuff, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie, I did go a little bit crazy. We're going to do a clean out of my stash and then put all this stuff up as well. So I got a lot of old products that need to go and put these products there and maybe I'll feel better about all of these purchases. I don't know. I hope that y'all enjoy this haul. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!